Hey, so I want to talk about forearms and any pain or exert overexertion you might feel in your arms when you, after you play, and some ways to sort of balance and mitigate it with massage and retraining. So um, one thing to know is just that with violin, we're using so many more small muscles than you do with just about any other activity. So it's really important to take care of them. Okay, so what we're going to start with is just noticing where you're tight. So you can take one hand, keep the other one loose, and just sort of rub along both the top and the inside of your hand. I like to sort of push and go up a little along the bones like this, just gently. And then for me, it's always quite um, tight in here on the inside of my thumb. And I like to rub that out a little bit. Another one I love is to massage what are called between my carpal bones. I'll uh, put my thumb here, just hold it, and then I can just lean back and forth like this gently. Move up a little bit, back and forth. You might feel a nice little, you should feel a gentle massage. It shouldn't be like hammering. Okay, ooh, that's a good one for me. Just leaning back, keeping my fingers as loose as I can. And you would do that on both sides. Um, another thing I love to do is to hold my forearm like this, like pull it in from one side, and then practice turning my hand from flat to 90 degrees, thumbs up. And what I'm trying to do here is massage the top muscle of my forearm. I'll go back and forth maybe five times usually, and then I inch down my hand. That can give me a nice stretch. I feel along here sometimes. Those muscles, little muscles, maybe like this. You can also do on the ground, put your arm flat on the ground, and you can get your other elbow in there and massage along the forearm, the top of the forearm. Okay, so you do that with both sides. Um, and then the thing I'm experimenting with now is how to pronate my bow arm um, without involving the upper arm or the shoulder, because that can sort of, you can drop your shoulder and you can get your wrist involved and you have all sorts of funky pain up in and through here. Um, so first things first, hold your bicep inside here and your arm like along your side like this. And what you're gonna practice doing is rotating your hand from flat to thumbs up without moving your upper arm or your shoulder. You might feel the muscles moving under your hand here. And then do it up here and see if you can still do that just from the forearm. Then you grab your bow, and um, this is complete news to me. When you make your bow hold, um, first of all, really light in the thumb and the pointer, hold your bow with the other hand. And what you're gonna go for is um, weight, feeling the weight in the pinky. So my traditional bow holds like that, it's almost on the outside of the pinky, and my pinky's not working at all. I'm just telling it to stay on the bow. If you see flyaway pinkies, that's what they're doing. So what we're gonna do is actually, first of all, make sure you're not doing any weird pronation with your shoulder. Check in with your bow hand. No weight in the pointer. And can you lean your pinky on your ring finger, your four on your three? Um, just lean it in there, and then kind of do a side swipe like this. What you're trying to do is feel the stick under your pinky, okay? And then um, what you're gonna do is, without pressing with the thumb, try to, I'm gonna rest my bow on my shoulder, try to push the bow up using your pinky and then let it come back down. And you really wanna stay with the pinky, for right now, right next to the ring finger. It's a little timber action. So I've brought my arm from here to here. I don't recommend doing this because that's really not a natural position for violinists. Do more like this. Go upper arms here, still. Lift, and drop. Using the inside of the pinky. The thumb will feel it only in that it's the pivot point, but the pointer really has no say in what's happening. Okay? And then when you put the bow on the string, Again, bring your arm to your side, bring your bow, make sure your pinky is this way and not this way. 
this way, bring it to the string. Try not to over control, just let it bounce. Okay, and then when you pull the bow, at first it'll sound something like this. You're just trying to continue to feel the weight and the pinky as you move the bow. And that's the first sort of stage of it. Um, and then we'll figure out how to create more power, more powerful sound there. But in the meantime, this is a great way to practice quiet passages or scales um, or anything slow um, because you can really kind of feel the weight in the pinky and not so much in these dictators, <laughs> the pointer and the thumb. And I hope that helps. Um, a final note, ice is your friend. If you're a hand or a forearm are hurting after you practice, use ice to reduce inflammation. Advil is also lovely ibuprofen. Um, before I play, if I have time, I'll put a heating pad on my arm or on my neck to sort of soften my shoulder muscles here um, so that I can warm them up before I play. That's, a, that's kind of my regime. I hope this helps.